Hi Bobcats! In this section, we're going to take a look um, for the first time really at the periodic table, which is just this iconic representation of chemistry. Our objective is to describe why Mendeleev is considered the father of the modern periodic table. By the mid 1800s, a lot of scientists were trying to come up with some sort of an arrangement of the elements. Um, there were um, a, a by our, compared to our modern table, just a handful of elements known, but um, scientists were already trying to look for patterns. Is there some way that we can relate one element to another element? Um, some of the more successful arrangements included things like Dobriner's triads. He was able to take uh, clusters of three elements and put them together in some way um, that had some meaning. Um, if it, when he picked his three elements, the um, element that came in the middle had a mass that was close to the average of the mass of the other two elements. Uh, Newland figured out some ar arrangements, some groupings of eight elements that were referred to as octaves. Um, Meyer had proposed a table of 28 elements. So by the mid-1800s, there was a lot of effort being placed into trying to recognize these patterns and come up with some sort of standard arrangement of the elements. So Dmitry Mendeleev was just one of many scientists who were um, proposing one of these tables. Um, and by 1869, he published his first one. And his was just way more insightful than everybody else's. Um, that earned him this title of the father of the periodic table. Um, most scientists who were working on the periodic table arranged the elements in order of increasing mass. So already measurements had been done on what the masses of these elements were, and um, Mendeleev did that too. He arranged it as from smallest mass to biggest mass, but he focused on trying to group the elements by their properties, particularly their chemical properties. We'll look at one of his proposed tables in just a moment, and you'll see how the chemical properties are the big theme through there. In addition to that, he had the vision to realize that at that point in time, not all of the elements had been found yet. He realized that if he was going to group the elements in terms of properties, there were some gaps. There were some elements that just hadn't been found yet. He also realized that to fit into this table that emphasized chemical properties, some of the elements had to be flipped in terms of their positions. Um, he proposed that more careful experimental measurements needed to be done. Um, but as it turns out, the, the masses were correct. Um, but if these elements are going to, to fit into the table by groups of properties, uh, Mendeleev's arrangement was correct. So there were some places in his table where elements were not arranged in increasing mass order. This slide shows a version of the periodic table that Mendeleev had proposed. And what I'd like to point out on this table um, is that as he arranged the elements into groups, which are the headings up here at the top, they were based on what sort of a formula the element formed when it made a compound with oxygen or when it made a compound with hydrogen. So he was looking at the chemical reactivity to arrange these elements in groups. And as you look down here, you'll see some things that look fairly familiar. Like if we look at group two, um, you'll see magnesium or beryllium at the top, 
and then magnesium and calcium. Um, that's very similar to our, our modern table. He also put strontium in there and barium. All of that looks like group two on our modern table. But he had a couple other elements thrown in there as well. And uh, there, there were certainly uh, a lot of refinements that have been made over the years. This arrangement of elements is sometimes referred to as the periodic law. And that just basically says when elements are arranged in order of their atomic numbers, their chemical and physical properties show repeatable or periodic trends. Um, some of the trends we will look at include electron configurations, um, which is just how electrons are arranged in the atom, the atomic size, um, are the elements metals, nonmetals, or metalloids, and many, many more things. Um, I also kind of pulled a fast one on you here in that I mentioned atomic numbers. Um, the atomic numbers um, are actually used to arrange our modern periodic table. Um, atomic numbers weren't known in Mendeleev's time, um, but that actually is the ordering principle, not the masses. And that for the most part, as the atomic masses get bigger, the atomic numbers get bigger, but there are a couple of exceptions to that. And those were the elements where Mendeleev said, no, um, I think you don't know the masses accurately. Uh, go back into the lab and try to remember them and I think you're going to find that uh, the masses are different. Well, as it turns out, the mass numbers that they were working with were good, it's just masses aren't the ordering principle. It is actually atomic number. If you look at an element on a periodic table, the information shown on this slide is what you typically will see. The name or the symbol for the element will be given, Fe in this case, or iron. Um, then there typically will be two numbers with it as well. The number shown on the bottom here, the 55.847, is the average atomic mass, which is um, a, an average that takes into account the fact that um, more than one isotope of an element exists and the isotopes have different masses. And so uh, if we average all of that out, that's where we get that number that's on the bottom. The top number is known as the atomic number. Uh, we'll learn in chapter three that the atomic number tells us how many protons are in an atom. And I have a little note here, um, atomic number comes up in the chapter two homework. Um, so just make sure um, that you're aware that that whole number that's the top number in the periodic table is what they mean on the homework when they're asking about atomic number. So just a, a quick review question here, which criterion distinguished Mendeleev's arrangement of the elements from other scientists' proposed periodic tables? You might want to pause and think about the answer choices for a minute. So the thing that really, truly distinguished Mendeleev was arranging elements with similar chemical properties. So the best answer here is answer B. And if you go back and look at his uh, early proposed table, it's all based on um, compounds that formed com that were formed by elements with oxygen and with hydrogen. So that's very definitely their chemical properties. Our objective was to describe why Mendeleev is considered the father of the modern periodic table. Um, there are several facets to this issue, um, including uh, that he arranged the elements uh, to group elements with similar chemical properties. He recognized that uh, some elements hadn't been discovered yet, so he left gaps in his proposed periodic table. and. Um, he also flipped some elements from their mass order, and we now know that when he did that, he put them in the correct order in terms of atomic number.